What's going on, everybody? It is Redgrave here, and we are back with Bayonetta 3. Yes, we're still not done because we have a lot of post-game stuff to do. Uh, the first thing on the agenda, however, is going to be the secret chapter. So I went through and I got all the keys for the secret chapter, and uh, that's going to be down here. So... Yeah, if you look inside, you may be unable to return for some time. So we're going to go through the secret chapter first. This is going to be like the first post-game thing, minus the phenomenal remnants that we're going to go into. So I'm really excited for this. And um, yeah, I guess there's nothing else except to just do it, you know? For chapter 13, go to the second checkpoint to skip the unskippable cutscene. In the beginning. Yes, I, I did notice that because... When I went back to it, I actually pressed the first one at first and I couldn't skip it. And so I actually, um, you also can't back out of the, into the main menu too. So I literally had to close app and reopen it. Also, what the heck? You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the Winnie the Pooh chapter from Kingdom Hearts with the picture book. Ceresa shivered at the thought of what lay ahead, but curiosity got the better of her. Get it because she's dressed like a cat? I saw what you did there. Okay, so she can actually climb that stuff. What if this is actually just a turn-based RPG? Like, I'm gonna encounter an enemy, and then it's gonna go into the... the whole battle screen and everything. I'm also just gonna assume that there aren't any, like, special unlockables in here. It's literally just go through it as it's presented, and then just... that's it. That's it's gonna be my assumption anyways. Say. So spooky. And that's it. Roll credits. Apparently this is what caused emulators problems because it's basically a different engine. She cautiously a, ventured a diff onwards. A game inside of a game. And exploring is worth it here. Son of a gun! <laughs> Ugh. Oh, there's a thing up there. Is... is someone out there? Ugh! Alright, fine. I guess we're gonna have to do this then. Literally go in every nook and cranny to get all the collectibles. So basically, every time I see a bush, I have to run into it. I am Chris Redfield. <laughs> 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 Choker K, thank you so much for following. Welcome in. Yeah, th this art style is pretty cool, but um, what was that? I'm just wondering. <laughs> I'm just wondering what potential combat sections is going to be. I'm like, if there is combat, I am so terrified that it's going to be turn based. Okay, Cereza doesn't like water. Or maybe it's Cheshire that doesn't like water. Oh, well, okay. I learned my lesson. Cereza can't swim. But I need to subside for a while. Love the content. Thank you, Choker. I appreciate that. But if you only go forward, you must a secret, but the bushes aren't necessary. Dance for me, plant! Ah, oh, okay. I see now. I wonder how it would respond to my magic. Dance for me, plant. Maybe... What the... Why aren't you responding to anything? I feel like there was something... Back here. 
before. Oh yeah, it was just this. Right, yeah. Okay, I'll just go forward then. Can't swim normally. <laughs> That's well, then she also has a uh, what's it called? Eel within. That's that's what she uses to swim. Looking into the dark underbrush, Cerisa could not shake the feeling that someone was looking back. So is this uh, this is the young Cereza actress, right? Oh, I can't go through that section. Oh, there's a tightrope. Come on, Cereza, one foot in front of the other. For the record, that is not easy. I know how to do that, like bar walking like that. It's not easy. I missed a bush, I'm gonna have to go back. The perfectionist in me is going to hit every single bush. Just to make sure that I don't miss anything. Cause in a game like this, it's gonna be like, oh, you missed that one bush. And because of that, you missed the special item that's gonna grant you, I don't know, the ability to play as Dante or something. Oh, hi. To be what? No. No. What? No. Excuse me. Yes, my dearest Cereza. Still, can't save anyone. What? What What? I, I know you guys can't see the loading screen right here, but it is loading so slow. What? N no? Huh? Can't... Is it gonna do that to me, like, every 10 minutes or something? Because that's, that's gonna be a bit obnoxious. Hey, even Oreo's not happy. She was just like, what the heck? Once you go that far, it will auto end you. Wait, so was that, was that, that wasn't it, was it? Ceresa shivered at the thought of what lay ahead. The but curiosity got the better of her. I... That was it? That was so... Underwhelming. Yeah, that, that just doesn't even... Say I finished that in like not even 10 minutes, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, you're right. It, it seems like, it seems like a tech demo for something. I, I think it's cool, but like, that's... They use development time for this. 
Makes me think it's what the in-game purchases might be hinting at. Oh, yeah, that's right, because there might be DLC and stuff here. I, I, I feel like I literally just did nothing, though. <laughs> I just don't like how short it was. Like, <laughs> like... If it was even just, like, maybe another ten minutes longer or something, I feel like that would... be a little bit more of a teaser, but it's like... You have to go through all of that effort... I mean, it, granted, it wasn't really that much effort, but, like, I had to, like, Google search where everything was, you know? And look at that. Literally, as I talked about my thoughts on, on this last chapter, I completed it again. There's an unlockable for the main game. Did I unlock it by beating this? Or do I need to do something in order to unlock it? Once you dance with all the flowers, go back near the beginning. Oh, uh, Kamiya! Why do you make things so complicated? I got the three keys in the inconvenient areas, and I did the secret chapter like I was told to. What more do you want from me? <sighs> I missed. If you look inside, you may be able to return, unable to return for some time. And by some time, we mean the average amount of time that it takes to beat a Smash Brothers game. Also, um, I don't think I'm able to skip the cutscenes in this. So that's another thing that I am not happy about. Because <laughs> after I get through this section, I gotta waste another minute of my life looking at that last cutscene again. It better be like the best weapon in the game or something. Yo, actually, I... So, because she's talking to Cheshire, right? What if Bayonetta gets Viola's Cheshire as a summon? That would be pretty rad. Like, she gets the ability to summon Cheshire. She doesn't get, like, a weapon Cheshire. Oh, wait, actually, you know what? No, 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 that would be kind of cool if she got, uh, Viola's weapon, because then she gets the sword, right? Because Bayonetta doesn't have, like, a sword weapon. It's Viola that has the sword. That would be cool. So, go up here. Yo, watch me speedrun this. What was that? I'm gonna get the world record in speedrunning the lost chapter of Bayonetta 3's lost chapter. There we go, there's the jingle. Okay, then go back to the beginning. Tight rope across this. Dude, such an elaborate series of events. Just to get an unlockable. Like, why couldn't I just get it when I beat the secret chapter? It's not all the way at the beginning, it's near the waterfall. So, like... Is this it? What the? Oh. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Was that it? That had to be it, then. I'd very much like to wonder how people discover these things, you know? Like, do they just, like, literally go through every nook and cranny to find all the hidden secrets and be like, I wonder if this is a thing. And then they just do it. Probably because this is, you know, it's Bayonetta. But also I have heard that like in the, what was it? In the DMC discords, like in the speedrunning community, especially for DMC, people will just use all of their time playing DMC to just bump into walls and just try shit just to see if it works. <laughs> Super Miro Zero, Super Miro Zero, fucking god. All right, let's see what this is. Rodon's treasures. There we go, I'll take that. Oh, first of all, I wanna see what the costume is. So, I... I don't really know how I feel about that. It's just the costume from from the thing, which like it's cool. Like 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know. I... 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 Actually, you know what? The... I like the design where, like, the hair goes down and it, like, forms the tail here. Because, you know, she's a, she's a cat. Um... I, you know, I, I fucks with this appearance. I, I fucks with it, you know? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Who calls it a training frock? Potential prequel? Bayonetta Zero? That'd be kind of cool. You know, I give that secret chapter a solid what the fuck Kamiya out of 10. And you can add that to my score.